by the growing popularity of rap amongst Russian youth, President Vladimir Putin wants cultural leaders to devise a means of controlling rather than banning the popular music. Putin says, if it is possible, I mean, if it is impossible to stop, then we must lead it and direct it. But Putin said, um, said this at St. Petersburg meeting with cultural advisors sometimes in December 2018. And he said that attempts to ban artists from performing will have an adverse effect on bolster uh, and bolster their popularity. Putin noted that rap is based on three pillars, sex, drugs, and protest. But um, he is popularly con uh, particularly concerned with drugs um, theme prevalent in rap, saying this is a path to de degradation of the nation. And he said drugs um, propaganda is worse than cursing. <sighs> so Putin's comment came amidst a crackdown on contemporary music that evokes um, Soviet-era censorship of the arts. Ladies, ladies, ladies. So I was, um, what was happening in December? Because uh, Naomi Osaka replied this um, particular. Naomi, that's the tennis player. Yeah, the tennis player. She replied this particular, you know. Because today we're talking about, the reason we brought this um, story was because we know mm -hmm. that every time we're talking about a ban on maybe media things, Nigerians always feel like, oh, it's the government that's trying to go stifle, against and yeah. stifle and, you know, um, cover yeah, our yes. mouths and all of that. Mm -hmm. I feel that sometimes, you know, we should also take a breather and look at the angles to which um, some of these our leaders are coming from. So, for instance, now, what's your take with what Putin has said? Oh, definitely. Me... Anyway, I'm going to be biased because I don't like rap music. But I'm not just going to streamline it into that. I think for music, um, for music, for social media and all that, there should be a regulation. You should regulate it. If he's the president and he knows his country, if he sees, he's, I, I think he's just being responsible. Well, you can't, in America, I think part of the problems they have in America is free speech, freedom of expression, and I think it's extreme. That is why what is happening is happening. People are just shooting anyhow and all that because there are no regulations. It's a free world. Russia is not like that. That's why many leaders do not like him because he's a very... Um, um, strict is a strict leader, so I think why not? What was was the essence of rap? What does it contribute? <laughs> it? So you're in the semi music, semi acting industry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure where I am where I'm in music. I don't listen to a lot of rap because I think they talk too fast and I really can't keep up. But I do agree with um, President Vladimir Putin that um, rap music mostly sells sex, drugs, and protests. But then there are other rap musics, like the gospel rap, which is like the bitch I really do enjoy. So if you're saying you're going to cut down on, on that, I, I got, this is nagging behind my brain. I'm sorry I have to cut this. Have you noticed how much Vladimir Putin looks like Mona Lisa? <laughs> okay, so how, how does that concern us? It doesn't. Right it, was, it, was just, it was just at the back of my brain. Okay. But yes, I, I completely agree that... Um, um, because rap is a huge way of sending out a message. The average, you look at the Naira Mali I'm drama. I'm so happy Malians, that you're coming there. <coughs> you know, like, I'm a Malian. Everybody's a Malian so right now. People are creating a mindset. People? Music framed, music is one of the easiest mm. ways the to frame strongest. pop culture mindset. So when you're selling out drugs, and when you're selling, uh, uh, promoting drugs and sex, and, you know, protest and saying all these things that are not right through music, the average young kid is listening. You know, and the story that came out was that he was going to ban it mm. but he said that no we're not banning it let us censor let Form us put a control. control you know because we cannot you know this and these are the things i keep saying that we cannot keep complaining about things looking at it from a big picture the truth mm. is that music is one of the strongest tools you know that can actually shape the minds and especially our younger um, mm, generation. generation that is coming up, they are very, very in sync. This rap you're saying that is too fast, you don't understand. Call my 10 year old or maybe would a, a, an 8 year old or a 7, they will tell you word for word verbatim. Hmm. Do you understand? So I, I love the, the fact that because, you know, when we finish this um, segment, we're switching to our social media bill, you know, mm -hmm. and hopefully maybe our guests would have come by then. 
But you see, where there are no rules, where there are no laws, a lot of things will go wrong. You but know? do you think it's going to clamp down on people's creativity? Or it, there's going to be a reduction in like the number of rap artists we have? Because no, I don't think so. Because even with comedy, for instance, there was a time where it was funny for you to just, you know, Talk about do rave, vulgar comedy and all, that, yeah. and all of those. But comedians are becoming more, much more creative now. Mm -hmm. Look at, no, now take for instance, um, Basket Mada had to come out recently to apologize for a, a joke he said a long, long time, time ago, ago. Just caught up with mm. him. That now caught up with him based on the foreign relations um, that he has currently. Mm -hmm. You know, they're saying they're cutting off ties and all of those things. Why? Because of what he said in the past. So if you understand that words are powerful, you know, because words are not just, they're not just words. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. So if you understand that words are powerful, you would know that it, you can't just wake up and just write rubbish Ooh, and wow. sing it to the, the population and people just keep quiet. So I think we should start to sanction Ooh. even our own local music here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you. I started seeing this on social media that Mali and Snow, mm -hmm. they graduate. What's that? It's, um, well, <laughs> I'm trying to make sense Part of, of the that rap culture. Well. It's like a way of saying well, it's so okay if you don't go to school. So it's going Which to, is wrong. And it's slowly getting it's into, deep, deep, deep into slowly. the fabric of, 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 the, of, of the society. Of course. So people are now seeing it as a norm. I don't have to graduate because I'm a Malian. Mm. What is what's this craze about being a well, Malian? You know, um, you know and look at the song and look at the music, the, the, the dance that comes with it. So I've never seen something so extreme in my life. And guess what? Even adults are getting into the culture. What's going on? Oh, so wow. I totally agree with Putin that there must be a form of regulation. I mean, like I said earlier, I do agree with him, but there is a part where I disagree, the part about protests. If you remember, music is a huge tool for protests. Sex, drugs, yes, take it out, fantastic, thank you. But when it comes to protests, remember the black movement? There were a lot of people, uh, Notorious B.I.G. too, but these people, like, and even some others that I don't even, even remember. Even Bob Marley? Names. Yeah, they spearheaded um, the movements, uh, the black movement and all that. Even in Nigeria, you have people like Files the Bad Guy, you know, who would uh, speak out on the ills going on. So he's Fela. using his, Fela, thank you. Who, he's just, they're using music to speak out against the ills of the society. So if you're going to clamp down, please let these people leave. Don't use that as don't don't open it up as a net to just drag everybody inside no there are people who should be left out like if you're protesting for good in the society you should be your voice should be loud your voice should be heard don't clamp people so like i that think down. what it would basically do is remove the element of drugs and um you but you can't you sex. see the thing with with the thing with rap it's just i don't know how to explain it now um, tomorrow we're, we're having a conversation around um, what's it called the rise in internet fraud and all of that. Mm -hmm. There are some things that is like is like peanut butter and um, they're and, complimentary. And they are complimentary. So oh, it's about their extra vegan life. So, so when you start that that culture, right? There are certain things that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. You know, drugs comes with it. Alcohol comes with it. Women. A lot of women come. You know, it comes with it. And of course. Um, what's it called? Um, sex and um, um, yeah. maybe the uproar and all of those things, you know, protests mm -hmm. and all, it comes with that territory. So you really cannot separate it, you know. It just, the audience is just I strongly on. disagree. No, you can't. I strongly it. disagree with that. You think so? Yes. yes. Tell me, tell me. Because I think Drake does good um, rap music, music and Kanye has a couple good ones. Kanye just gave and his Jay -Z. life to Christ. We are happy yes, for that. Yes, and I'm glad he's making. So now he has joined the bandwagon of good gospel. Uh, Even rap there was this guy, Maze. Maze so, did a good one. Even P did it. Yeah, a couple of them have like yeah. really clean, clean rap music. It doesn't you have to be all ratchet. Listen to you know you don't have to go ratchet and have all these ladies wearing almost nothing, shaking their behind in front of TV. I think that's really ratchet. That's disgusting. Okay. We'll leave it at that. So um, it's not all that bad when you see a government coming to say that they want to put a bit of control. So up next, we'll also talk about um, the social media bill and the effects and how we should comport ourselves. We're hoping to have Sheon Kuti. He's actually on his way. We don't know where he is right traffic now. Traffic is terrible. You know, <laughs> but you, anybody coming anyway. to the island, you know that there's a lot of traffic. So um, if he's around, he will join us. But if not, we'll just continue the conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you.